just like our vertical shifts don't actually change the shape of our graph, our horizontal shifts don't change the shape of our graph either. Now, where D is your constant outside of your principal function, C is actually your constant inside your principal function. So it'll look something like this. Now, I didn't write down what it was. It could be uh, x minus 2 squared or x minus 2 cubed or the absolute value of x minus 2 or whatever it might be based on your parent function. But if it says x minus 2, it's always a little tricky. Okay, it's, You're going to shift it right to. And then here it's going to be x plus 3 and we're actually going to shift it left 3. And the reason it's the opposite is because the form, the general form, looks like this. x minus c. So when you see this, your question is, what are you subtracting from x? And that answer is 2, so that's why we shift right 2. Here, what are we subtracting from x? Well, it's negative 3, so that's why we shift left 3. And what effect it actually has is c subtracts the x values. And we'll look at a couple examples and see how this applies. So now our parent function is the square root of x, which is our brown function. So if you plug in 0, you get 0. 1, you'll get 1. When you plug in 4, you get 2. When you plug in 9, you'll get 3. Well, when we graph our h function, it says x plus 1, and that's what we're taking the square root of. So what that's going to do is it's going to shift our graph left 1. Okay. So if you look at our graph, what we have done is we've basically taken all the points on our graph and we've shifted them left 1. So this point's moved left 1, this point's moved left 1, this point's moved left 1, and this point right here is moved to left 1. And what I said is it subtracts the x values. So when you plug those values in, before when we plugged in, say, a 4, uh, we got an answer of 2. Well now, since we're adding 1, if you plug in 3, well 3 plus 1 is 4, that's what gives us an answer of 2. So notice the y values don't change. Okay, but the c, you're going to subtract it from the x value. So 4 minus 1 will give us a nice little 3. Looking down here at g of x, now this time it's x minus 2 that we're taking the square root of. So this time what it's going to do, it's going to shift our graph to the right 2. So as you can see, this point moved to the right 2 would be here. Here would be here. Here that's going to move there. And here that's going to move there. And as you can see, what we're going to do is we basically say 4 and then we're going to subtract it, so negative 2 minus, uh, or 4 minus negative 2, so we're actually going to add it. So we always kind of do the opposite of how it would appear, so kind of keep that in mind, and uh, that's basically talking about your horizontal shifts.